Mom places baby for adoption. Two years later, wants her back, saying it's a trick. The topic of adoption is never an easy one. It means a child has neither parents, either due to a tough decision or because of a terrible accident or turn of events. Despite this, when it comes to being adopted, the stories themselves can be rather uplifting. However, one adoption story went very awry when a mom decided to change her mind two whole years later. What she claimed about the adopted parents was quite shocking. Before we begin, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for more amazing videos. Pregnancy is an apprehensive and challenging time, even if it's planned. It's a massive decision choosing to bring a baby into the world, and it presents an enormous responsibility to the parents. While that may be the case, babies often inspire love in their parents, unlike any other. However, that's not always the case, and sometimes a parent feels as if they're not equipped to look after or provide the life for their baby they think they deserve. One young woman called Kristen got pregnant age 22. While she was young, 22 years old is deemed a fairly reasonable age to have a child. However, that doesn't dictate whether the person feels equipped or ready. Kristen knew she was going to have a baby, but she made the decision to place her baby up for adoption when the time came. The decision wasn't made quickly, and there was enough time so that she knew exactly who would be adopting her baby girl. At this point, everything seemed relatively reasonable. Little is known about where Kristen's mom and dad are, but we do know that she had a bond with her former stepdad. The relationship was positive enough that she felt comfortable allowing him and his new wife to adopt her baby. It also meant that her daughter wasn't staying too far from her family, so she would know where she was and be able to check on how she was doing. The couple even went as far as taking Kristen in when she was pregnant. You can only assume the 22-year-old didn't have a permanent place of her own or was pleased to have the physical and mental support by the future adoptive parents of her baby. It all seemed like a really positive setup given what could have been a very upsetting situation. After all, no baby wants to feel unloved, but this little girl had two parents ready to love her and give her a good life. It appeared as though everything was going really well. Decisions had been made and everyone was happy. Kristen gave birth to her baby girl and the adoption went forward as had been planned. Kristen even took to social media in order to express her gratitude. Of course, no one's compelled to explain their personal situation on social media, but Kristen felt comfortable enough to express her feelings about the adoption and her positivity about the situation. A couple of years passed with the adoptive parents raising their new baby girl and nurturing her into childhood. However, Kristen got pregnant two years later at the age of 24. No one was expecting Kristen to come back pregnant and make these wild claims. It seems that Kristen's second pregnancy had made her think of her first daughter. This then led to Kristen trying to reclaim the little girl two years later when she made some wild accusations. As part of many adoption contracts, it states that the biological parents are not allowed access or contact with the child. This is generally to make the process less painful and to create a strict barrier. However, it's unclear whether these were the terms Kristen agreed to. However, Adam and Stacy, the adoptive parents, apparently promised to let Kristen be involved in the child's life. Of course, at the time of the adoption, there's always a chance that Kristen didn't want to be part of the baby's life at all. Kristen claimed that the couple had promised to let her see the baby, despite the adoption. However, she says that never happened, and one week after the baby was born, Kristen was sidelined with no contact at all. Kristen claimed that she felt as if she'd been manipulated into handing over her baby, even claiming she let the couple steal her baby. Of course, this raises a whole load of concerning questions but Kristen divulged that she believed the couple may have arranged the entire thing. Kristen made some extremely worrying accusations about when she was staying with the couple. She says that she believes the couple may have even given her some unknown substance to make her compliant with what they wanted. She says she has no recollection at all of signing the adoption papers and even claims she can't remember parts of her pregnancy. This is very concerning and people wanted to get to the bottom of these claims. Obviously, that all sounds incredibly worrying to anyone. But no one was more concerned than Adam and Stacy, who were keen to set the record straight. After all, surely if Kristen's claims were valid, someone would have noticed the bizarre state of the woman. Nonetheless, the couple spoke out on Dr. Phil after the story was out and gave their version of the story of how events went down. They'd been the parents to this baby girl for two years when this all went down. Stacy was shown explaining the situation on the show and claimed that Stacy was evil 
and could even be described as psychotic. She also went as far as to say that Stacy needed support for her alleged mental health in the form of medication. Kristen also explained that she was supposed to be present when the adoption was finalized. However, she said no one called her to extend the invitation or allowed her to be there. Kristen compiles these allegations and claims that the whole adoption was illegal. Of course, if her claims are valid, then there's no doubt that this was a heinous act. But Kristen's waited two years to make these allegations, and she's pregnant with her second child. Some people believe that the mother may be regretting her decision and now wishes to have both her children united. However, the adoption was final, and this could have been her only way of getting her daughter back. The accusations rolled out and continued with claims that Stacy even controlled Kristen's ex-stepfather's feelings over the situation. However, Stacy and Adam had a lot to say about these accusations and didn't take kindly to their family having this drama thrust upon its doorstep. What seemed like the perfect adoption turned out to be an absolute nightmare. No one knew that the adoption was going to come up two whole years after the papers were signed. On the show, Adam speaks out against the accusations that Kristen was making and explains how he had known her since she was seven years old. Adam described how Kristen was always making things up as a child and the lies carried over into her teen years. She was apparently always in trouble at school for various reasons and was described as a handful. For one reason or another, Kristen always seemed to be in trouble. Adam reveals that once he discovered that Kristen was pregnant, he could only think of one thing. How was she going to look after the baby? At the time, she had no job and no permanent address, continually bouncing from home to home. He admits he believed that her baby didn't deserve that life at all, and his concern ran deep for the baby growing inside her. With what he described, it's probably natural that anyone would be concerned. Of course, the person who'd been targeted by Kristen was Stacy, who gave her interpretation of Kristen's behavior during the birth of the pregnancy. Stacy explained that Kristen actually never wanted to see nor hold the baby. Part of this was made very clear to the nurses during the birth, that Kristen had no inclination to seeing and holding the newborn baby when she was born. This made the adoption more manageable, but had now become hearsay following the recent allegations. Stacy recounts that at most, Kristen will have only seen the baby twice, and this was of Kristen's own choice. It's tough to know what the new mom was thinking at the time, given that everything was happening all at once and separate accounts were being given. It's safe to say the situation was getting more and more messed up. Either way, if one was right, it means the other person was lying about something incredibly appalling. Adam believed that Stacy had a victim mentality and that she takes no responsibility for her actions. Of course, now that she's pregnant again, it's safe to assume that she isn't handing it over for adoption as she's trying to regain her adopted daughter. However, it appears that no evidence has arisen following claims that the couple may have administered substances to make her give up her baby for adoption. Does that mean Kristen may not be telling the truth? At this point, the baby's two years old and has been raised by Adam and Stacy since birth. Since Kristen did give her baby up for adoption, does that not mean that the baby should stay where she is so she can have some form of stability? Situations like this can quickly become complicated and messy, which is why adoption agreements tend to specify that contact with the biological parent is not permitted. Stacy clearly makes her position clear in the situation, explaining that Kristen needs to understand that she's not the baby's parent anymore. She did, after all, have a choice to make, and she decided that Adam and Stacy would be good parents. Kristen even went as far as to say that they would be a good choice and they were a good decision for the baby on social media. So what changed? Surely they couldn't have forced her to do that postpartum. It seems as if there have been run-ins with these guys in the past. After all, Adam used to be Kristen's stepfather. Stacy explained that she thinks Kristen's favorite thing to do is call them evil all the time. By the sounds of it, there is a significant clash here and things haven't always been positive or amicable between these guys. They certainly won't be following this dramatic stint for the protection of the child involved. Stacy asks if they're so bad and evil, why did she choose them to adopt her baby? Of course, the question Kristen posed suggests that she never had a choice, but it seems unlikely to most people given the circumstances. Adoption's no easy thing, and it's certainly not something the state signs off on lightly, as the couple would have been strictly vetted and approved. Safe to say, this adoption turned into a real nightmare. Don't forget to subscribe for more interesting stories.